Alright, it got dark and I'm having to redo the beginning of the clip because I messed it all up. But, do you have a Ford with a V6 EcoBoost in it? If so, here you go. Alright, so yeah, that's going to go for any of the Ford EcoBoost motors. The, I think the Ford Expeditions, the F-150s, any of the V6 EcoBoost motors that are in these vehicles. Does yours sound like this when you start it up? It'll go away. You hear that rattle. It doesn't sound good. Well, Ford considers that normal. Um, they've re replaced my turbos once already, way uh, when I first got it. Um, it had like 15,000 miles on it and that rattle started happening. Um, it was a lot worse. It would happen when I was driving down the road, driving through the neighborhood. It was horrible, but they did replace it. But now they're deeming that as normal for everyone that has this rattle. Uh, and it's, it's the wastegates inside the turbos rattling. Um, and there is no fix for it. Uh, they're just basically telling people to deal with it sounding like that. And, uh, it goes away after a couple of minutes of starting it up. And I've heard it in drive throughs and stuff like that. It's not just on startup. It's, it's there constantly. And it's because the wastegate is loose because it's an electronic driven one instead of the vacuum driven ones like they used to be. But I've got a fix for it. Here we go. These Hillman Springs that I got from Lowe's. The part number is 543183. They look like this. All right, so it does make it easier if you jack the truck up to get the tire out of the way a little bit. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Basically, you see this little, uh, that's your wastegate for the turbo. What you want to do is hook this right to that wastegate. And then come down to the oil return. Now, that might be the feed, but... The oil tubing. Sorry, I'm still up. not sure about that. Shut up, Siri. And that's it. And you're just going to do that for both sides. Straight to the wastegate arm. To the oil tubing. And that's So those springs do not put much tension on the wastegate arm at all. I would still recommend pulling them off if you ever went to Ford for anything because you know how dealerships are and warranties go. It's not going to cause any problems because the wastegate can still move perfectly freely with those on there. I've tested it. Um, but yeah, it's just enough to get rid of that sound.